For today's lesson, we will be discussing more theorems, which are Theorem 98, 99, and 100. And we will start with Theorem 98, which is the semicircle theorem. It states that an angle inscribed in a semicircle is a right angle. So, whenever we have an angle inscribed in a semicircle or it is inside your semicircle, then that means that angle is a right angle or it measures 90 degrees. So let's take a look at this circle D and as you can see we have here semicircle. So one of them is semicircle APM or arc APM. Okay. Now Aside from the semicircle, we can also see an angle, which is angle APM. Now, this angle is inscribed in the semicircle APM. Okay? And when we say inscribed, that means it is inside. So, if you will notice, the endpoints of the angles are also the endpoints of your semicircle. So, that means it is inside the given semicircle. And... The vertex is on the circumference. Okay. Now, applying theorem 98, we can say that this angle APM is a right angle. So this one, this angle APM is a right angle. So that means it measures 90 degrees. So whenever you have an angle inside or inscribed in a semicircle, so that means the measurement of that angle will be equal to 90 degrees and it is considered as a right angle. Next is we have theorem 99 which is the inscribed angles in the same arc theorem. It states that the inscribed angles that intercept the same arc are congruent. So whenever we have inscribed angles and they intercept the same arc then they should have the same measurement or they are considered as congruent angles so let's take a look at this circle o if you will see we have here two inscribed angles so we have angle adg this angle right here and we also have angle amg which is this one so again, they are inscribed angle. And if you will notice, these two inscribed angles right here, they intercept the same arc, which is arc AG. So both the endpoints of the two angles are also the endpoints of arc AG. So that means they intercept that arc. Now, applying theorem 99, since they just intercepts the same arc, therefore, angle ADG must be congruent with angle AMG. And lastly, we have theorem 100. This states that the opposite angles of an inscribed quadrilateral are supplementary. When we say inscribed, like what I've said a while ago, that means it is inside. So, with this one, there should be a quadrilateral inside a given circle and when we say supplementary that means the measurement or the sum of the measurement is equal to 180 degrees so in this example as you can see we have here circle a and there is a quadrilateral inside the given circle so quadrilateral mino is inscribed in circle a because as what we know when we say inscribed that means it is inside so applying theorem 100 it states that the opposite angles of inscribed quadrilateral are supplementary so let's try to identify the opposite angles here so first is we have this angle mon and the opposite angle of that is angle min so we can say that angle mon and angle min are supplementary another pair that we can get is this angle imo and its opposite angle is angle ino 
So again, angle IMO and angle INO are supplementary also. So next, let's try to prove one of the theorems that I presented a while ago, which is theorem 98 or the semicircle theorem. So given circle O with angle ACB inscribed in a semicircle, which is arc ACB. Now we need to prove that this angle is a right angle. Okay, because this is what the theorem states a while ago. That whenever we have an angle inscribed in a semicircle, then it will be a right angle as well. So we need to show that angle ACB is a right angle. Okay, so now let's do a two-column proof for proving that angle ACB is a right angle. Okay, so you have to write the given. Okay, so the given is circle O with angle ACB inscribed in semicircle ACB. So we know that this one is given. Okay, now if we will try to look at the given figure right here, if you will focus with the angle, angle ACB, you will see that this is. Of course, this is an inscribed angle and it intercepts an arc, which is arc ABB. Okay, so as you can see, this one you have angle ACB, this angle right here, and it intercepts arc APB. Now, if you have an inscribed angle and then you have the intercepted arc. You can actually get the measurement of the given angle. So, we need to apply the inscribed angle theorem. Okay? So, what do we know about the inscribed angle theorem? The measurement of the given angle is one half the measurement of its intercepted arc. Okay? So, let's try to use that and create an equation from it and use it as our statement. So, measurement of the intercept or the measurement of the inscribed angle so which is angle ACB okay is equal to half of the measurement so it's equal to half of the measurement of its intercepted arc which is arc APB Okay, so again, since we have here the inscribed angle and its intercepted arc, so we can use that and apply the inscribed angle theorem. Okay, now from this one, from statement number two, we have to end up with measurement of angle ACB. Okay, but to get that, of course, we need to have the measurement of arc APB. Now, going back to the figure, if you will see, arc APB is an inscribed angle. Now, going back to the figure, as you can see, arc APB is actually a semicircle. Okay, We can use that now and write the third statement. So, what we know is the measurement of a semicircle must be equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, measurement of arc APB is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so this one, the degree, this is what we know, the degree measure of a semicircle is 180 degrees. Now, from that, as you can see, we already have the measurement of arc APB. Now, we can use that statement number 3 and apply it to statement number 2, 
so that we can solve for the measurement of angle ACB. So what we will do here is we will substitute the measurement of arc APB to our equation from statement 2. So measurement of angle ACB is equal to half of the measurement of arc APB which is now equal to 180 degrees. We use the law of substitution and we did this with statement 2 and 3. Now what we will do next is we just have to simplify this. So you all, you all need to get half of the measurement of 180 or half of 180 and that is 90 degrees. So measurement of angle ACB is equal to 90 degrees and this is because we simplify. Statement number 4. Now since we already know the measurement of angle ACB which is 90 degrees, okay, and if an angle measures 90 degrees so that means that that angle is a right angle so with that we can already have this angle acb is a right angle and how are we going to justify this this is because of the definition of a right angle okay so from statement five that's it for today. I hope you learned something and see you on the next one.